Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Erica. In this video, I will demonstrate how to draft IT questions in a way that will encourage instructors and industry professionals to respond. To illustrate this process, I will use an example of an exercise I'll pretend to have failed and explain how I would seek assistance on the MCSI Discord forums. Let's imagine that I failed this exercise on the platform. It requires a student to set up two virtual machines in VirtualBox, configure the NAT network setting, and make sure that the two virtual machines have been assigned different IP addresses. Here's what I've done. I have set up an Ubuntu machine and a Windows 7 machine. Both machines are configured to use NAT networking mode but the machines have been assigned the same IP address. I need help resolving this issue. Now I'll demonstrate how to ask for help on MCSI's Discord forums in a way that is professional. This exercise is part of the Mike's curriculum. So I'll create a post in the Mike's channel. Start by giving your post an appropriate title. Then state the exercise you are working on. To create a space in your post, hold down the Shift and Enter key. Then clearly describe the issue you are facing. If you have followed any blogs or tutorials, provide us with the link so we can follow what you did. If you have attempted any steps to fix this issue, you can describe that as well. You can include screenshots and error messages relevant to the issue you are dealing with. If you would like us to take a look at the configuration on your machine, then you can create a screen recording of it. Upload that video to your YouTube channel as unlisted. You can even create a separate playlist called Troubleshooting and upload your screen recording there. Provide us with the link to that YouTube video. Provide us with your student ID. This will help us track your progress on the platform and provide personalized feedback. Make sure to tag your post appropriately. Now, I will provide you with some formatting tips to improve your post. You can enclose text within single asterisks to present it in italics. You can include headings to denote various sections in your post. You can format those headings as bold by enclosing the text within double asterisks. If there is any piece of code you would like us to review, you can enclose it using backticks. Then go ahead and create your posts. This is an example of a good question. The issue has been described clearly and the information is presented with proper formatting. Our instructors will aim to respond within one business day. If you wish to edit your post, then click on this pencil symbol in the top right corner to edit it. Press the Enter key when the editing is complete. Now, I will give you some additional tips on how to use Discord. Before you create a post, search on the Discord server if someone else has asked that question already. Chances are, another student had posted about the same issue and had it resolved with help from an instructor. You can also perform the search within specific channels. As a reminder, it is important to adhere to a specific format when posing an IT question. Being as detailed and specific as possible is key. Start by describing the object or thing you are having difficulty with. Then, provide a thorough description of the fault. For added clarity, include screenshots and slash or video recordings that illustrate the issue. Finally, 
Let us know what steps you have taken to try to resolve the issue. By following these guidelines, you are more likely to get the help you need. Additionally, the industry requires professional writing. If English is not your first language or you are not yet confident in your writing skills, there are some helpful tools to assist you such as the Hemingway app, Quillbot, Grammarly, and AI assistant tools. Now let's look at a bad question versus a good one. Take a look at this bad post. There is no information about the exercise the student is working on, not much information about the issue faced, no details about steps taken to resolve the issue, and no screenshots or error messages. I strongly discourage creating posts like this one. Our instructors will not be able to help you with very little to no information. Take a look at this good post. The student has stated the exercise they are working on, the issue faced, steps taken to resolve the issue, what they think the fault may be, and supporting screenshots, along with the student ID. This detailed post has helped our instructors understand the student's issue and provide appropriate help to resolve it. To ensure we have a clear understanding of the approach, please allow me to summarize. First, please accurately describe the object and the fault utilizing the method taught earlier in the video. It is essential to ensure that the description is written in a professional manner. Please remember to include screenshots and video recordings of the problem, along with a link to any tutorial that you may be following. Finally, do not forget to include your student ID and mention the name of the exercise you are working on. Learning how to ask good IT questions is a valuable skill that can help you advance your career. Asking accurate and precise questions allows you to get the answers you need to solve problems quickly and efficiently. It also helps you build a reputation as an effective problem solver and shows that you are willing to take initiative and are knowledgeable in your field. Knowing how to ask the right questions can help you build a strong professional network and open up more opportunities for advancement. If you like this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon.